Welcome back to The Tracy Show. Today I am sharing with you my so long for this beautiful cocoon top. To start this project, I use a yard and a half of two-way stretch knit fabric and I have it on the fold here. This is my fold area here. And what I'm going to do, this is the wrong side out. So I'm going to leave about eight inches open here on the perimeter edges of the fold. This is where my armhole will go. So I'm gonna leave about eight inches open for the fabric and I'll start my pinning around here and I'm gonna pin all the way down on both sides of the fabric. This is where my armhole will be, this opening here where I do not have it pinned down. But I pinned the rest of the sides down all the way to the end of the fabric. And now I am ready to go ahead and make my 5 8 seams in that pinned area. I'm ready to serge my raw edges. So I searched my sides up to the armhole opening here. So this is where we will put our arms in and it's searched until that point. Make sure you make note of that when you are sewing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hem that armhole opening with just a regular folded hem here. And I'm going to do the same thing all the way around on both sides. Okay, so I have placed my cocoon sweater top on the dress form. I've already pinned down my folded hem around the perimeter of the cocoon sweater. So I went all the way around and folded that down as well for my hem. And I've completed one of my sleeves. I did go back and adjust that sleeve width. Um, I did eight inches initially, but I went down to about five um, inches because I want it to fit a little snugger on the sleeve area. So now I'm ready to go ahead and hem the perimeter of the cocoon top. And I'll so this top is so cute and versatile and it could be a great transitional piece as we transition into the springtime. Also, as we enter the prom season, this can be something that you can wear as with a prom dress with a dressy shawl, maybe using a stretch type of satin fabric or even a mesh fabric. Um, just to you know, dress up your look or whatever. Uh, you will need a stretch knit to make this. And one of the things about this cocoon top, it's so easy, so versatile, and it really doesn't take a lot of time to make maybe 30, 45 minutes at the most, probably. Just depending on how fast of a sore you are and what type of details you may want to add. 
even though you're placing your fabric on the fold to achieve this look, this is something that can be used to do some print blocking as well as color blocking. Instead of placing your fabric on the fold, you will go ahead and cut that fabric on that fold line and then you can have your two colors, maybe a plaid and a floral or you know different colors for your color blocking to achieve um, you know a different look. And that's something I may do in the future um, when I make this again. So this first version that I made is this beautiful green color, perfect for your St. Patrick's Day activities that are coming up in a few weeks. Um, I use this double brush knit fabric and I just really love the flow of it. Uh, it goes to maybe my knee length um, here. And it just flows really well and it's a nice lightweight fabric that I can wear um, for the spring months and I just really do love it and like I said I did adjust that arm opening um, just so I can do some different things with the sleeves you can ruch them up here and make it a short sleeve if you get warm still cute and you can let them down to the wrist area so this is very versatile love it love it in the future, I will probably make a coordinating piece to go with this green color. I do have a few yards of this left. I may do a coordinating top or maybe some leggings or something for the bottom um, to go with this, some lounge pants or something. But I really love this color, beautiful green color. One thing about me is when I get excited about something, I become a little obsessed with it. And I had to make another version because I just really love the way this one came out. And I said, oh, I can do this with it. Originally for this fabric, I had something else planned out. I had already cut it out, but I had it um, in a way that I could maneuver and do this cocoon top. So that's what I did here. So I use this beautiful eyelet fabric. This is a stretch lace fabric and it has some beautiful colors. It's a two-way stretch so um, it just stretches from the grain here um, and I did a coordinating piece to go with it for the top and this top is just a racer back tank top here um, that goes with this and I really love it I made this this stripe one exactly like this green one I have that six inch opening for the armhole and it's exactly like what I have on now. This would have been cute too with some color blocking or some print blocking maybe with the same type of fabric um, or something like that. But I really do love these. Perfect for the springtime as we transition, throw it on and go and be comfy and cute. Thank you so much for watching The Tracy Show. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye.